evening everybody and welcome back to my channel uh evening uh it's dark outside so we'll call it evening uh it is currently uh november and christmas is coming soon so I'm starting to think about uh different projects for different people and i saw an advertisement so i had to buy it and it was this guy And that is a uh, time box thing. Let's see if I can play it here. Make it a little louder. Uh, if you don't know that that song, you clearly don't watch as many Disney princess movies as I do. Uh, so what I want to try and make, I'm a little nervous because I've never made anything like this before and I really don't want to mess it up, but try to make a music box and a little uh, keepsake box for my daughter who just turned six uh, for Christmas. And uh, we're going to try and do a couple cool things with it. Um, I have been trying to draw just my, an idea I had. Trying to sketch it out. I haven't really come up with any sizes other than the, the base of the music box part itself. Um, incorporate some cool colors. I'm not sure, exactly sure. So I can't keep it going during the process. Um, yeah, hopefully this turns out well. See you later. So in order to better prepare to make a, a really nice uh, music box, uh, I've never made a box, so I tried to make a box. Um, it it kind of came out. It definitely is a box. I uh, did a did a stripe on the lid. Um, did a couple things on this. I'm not going to do on the other box, uh, but I tried to cut off the lid, and it didn't quite. I missed a cut slightly. Uh, well, actually, quite a bit. Miss that cut a little bit, uh, but it does have a bottom. Uh, there's an insert piece in there, so I did a groove around the outside edges. The couple of the miter corners weren't that great, but I was successful in making a box. Um, I learned a lot, which was the whole point of this thing, how to make the next one better. Um, I didn't do any of this on camera just because so I could uh, just learning. I think I can salvage this one, but. Uh, I have come up with, I think I'm going to do uh, 8 inches long, 5 inches deep, or let's see, no, 12 inches long, 8 inches deep, and 5 inches tall for the sizes, and I'm going to do an inlay, um, play with a laser engraver, hold one second. There's the movie reference, if you didn't figure it out already. Um, do that uh, on the lid so hopefully this works uh, so now I'm going to start cutting some some pieces for the box
initial uh, test. So I have a rough edge on this side, clean edge on this side. This will be the top. Let's see how it fits. All right, I went back through, shaved all, this took like a sixteenth of an inch. Now all the tops are nice and even. Shaved off that edge. So it looks like my, some of my bevels here, my mitered edge doesn't quite line up. Need to do some sanding on the corners. Insides aren't uh, pretty close. So let's hit the uh, sander over there. Now I have the box roughed out. Uh, the edges are mostly there. I think I need to do a little more sanding, but there's now a floor in it. So there's a groove down the inside edge with the floor piece in there. I labeled the back, front, left, right. So if I put them back together, I know where they go. So the lid, so this is one piece of the lid. It's gonna go on top. What I'm actually gonna do is create a groove around the inside edge so it can sit flush. Uh, that needs to go down, and then the music box itself is going to sit back here, so I have to figure out where the holes go, and there's a big circle. A hole for a Forstner bit needs to go in there, and then a hole will go down through. That the hole, This hole will go, come later, but I have to figure out where that hole goes. Um, this one only goes about halfway through, but that's for the mechanics of the music box itself. All right, we got the inlay piece cut. It actually fits. It's not glued in or anything yet. The second inlay piece, actually more important one, sits nice and flush with the top here. This piece will then go in this hole. It's exactly the same size, so it's actually difficult to get out. But you're probably wondering, why does this look so bad? Uh, there's actually a covering of masking tape, and I want to leave that on until I get closer to finish, in case you're wondering what it actually does look like, is that. Nice walnut finish, so that's going to be looking like that. But, 
also want to cover up these mitered corners. Uh, they don't look all that great, you know, first real project. So I'm trying to figure out, I also want to do like uh, an edge, like a framed edge. So I found this old piece of walnut. I think I'm going to cut this down. So this is about three quarters of an inch thick right now. Uh, I think I'm going to kind of strip it out and uh, see what happens. See if it looks good. May not use that, may go with something else. We got the box all cut out, got the lid cut off. I uh, need to do a little bit of sanding, uh, just as I expected. The very last cut on the table saw, as I went to push through, it wanted to close and pinch on the blade, so it kind of got stuck, which is what that is and what that is. So just a little bit of sanding. And then we'll uh, cut the splines in and work on the top.
we've had a minor accident as I was handling the lid uh, this came unglued so before I even got to sand it end came off so I've taped the lid down if I can get this glued exactly I'll be using the uh, Starbond medium to at least get it in place before I can get some other wood glue in it All right, so listen, uh, I was just wrapping up uh, getting all the mechanics, all the, the lid put on, 
and my wife calls me. She had taken our daughter out Christmas shopping so I could finish this up. And she just called me. She's on her way. So I have to very quickly go get some pictures so you guys can enjoy it. And try and get it all wrapped up and thrown under the Christmas tree so that our daughter doesn't see it. So I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy it. See you guys later. Oh.